fly you out to grief Full speed, so far it barely is Hey Icicles, it's Isis. Welcome, welcome back to my channel. Hi, my name is Isis. If you're new here for today's video, it's gonna be another episode of Pajama Talk. Pajama Talk. Pajama Talk with Icy. I think that's the name we came up with. Pajama Talk with Icy episode two. And for today's episode, it's gonna be how to like start your content creating slash social media account basically. And like how I grew my account from 400 followers to 40,000 followers in two years, about to be three years in the summer. So yeah, but usually I film the pajama talk on my bed, but right now I'm gonna do my face routine and also get started with the video and then also then after I do my face I'm gonna move on to the bed so yeah so make sure you like comment subscribe hit the notification bell so you never post a new video if you want to see more of me and connect with me outside of YouTube make sure you follow all my social medias there Isis Eileen to become an icicle and yeah let's just get started all right you guys so like I said I wanted to start my I wanted to do my face routine in this video because I don't want to like have the whole video just me sitting on the bed I want some like new setting change and also you see I'm filming in the daytime I sometimes I film at night all the time but I was just like let me film earlier let me get my day started and yeah and also we have actual pajamas now before it was like a, a sweatshirt and pajama pants but I got a bunch of silk sweatpants so all my I got a I got a bunch of silk pajama pants pajama sets what the hell I got a bunch of new pajama sets. Y'all know what I mean. So all my pajama talks with Icy will be taking place in silk pajamas, which I love that. And it makes me feel luxurious. So if you guys wanna join with the pajamas, always wear pajamas when you watch my videos for the pajama time with Icy. So yeah, so I have my handy dandy iPad and I have all my notes because I can't talk, like I won't be able to function without my notes. I have three pages of notes. <laughs> you guys know what I mean. I have three pages of notes and we're gonna go down. It's all in a list, all in categories. So hopefully I can do that category thing on YouTube so you guys can click to everyone you wanna watch first. But so the, okay, we have it right here. Um, we're gonna have it right here so I can talk for a few. And also my skincare routine. If you wanna see my full skincare routine, go on my Instagram. I have my skincare routine, also my TikTok and all my social medias, I show my skincare routine. So yeah. So the first step, in the whole entire thing and starting your social media slash influencing career the first part part one is going to be commitment now i have all my little bullet points yeah y'all know what i mean we're just gonna go through them we're just gonna go through them so the first one is commitment and i would say if this isn't actually something you want to do it won't happen i'm gonna be real honest with you guys because when you want something you're gonna go for and you're actually gonna try and actually try to make it work so if you aren't committed and you just see this as Oh, I'm just gonna do it as a trend I'm bored, da, da 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 maybe I'll make something off of it or whatever. It's not gonna happen, to be honest with you, because if you aren't trying for you aren't caring for you aren't putting in the work that you want to do and you're just seeing this as a temporary thing, how do you know it's gonna always fall through? Like, you actually have to want it to actually see results and to actually put work into it, basically. So, that's the first step before anything. So, if you're not committed and you just see this as a trend, exit off this video, because this is for people who actually want to take this seriously, you know what I mean? So, yeah, I always thought this was something I wanted to do since I was younger, but again, I wasn't committed until recently, like, until I started getting big on TikTok, I was like, oh, I think, like, I realized this is, like, actually what I want to do. So, yeah, and I also have to fix my legs, so ignore that. The next part about the whole commitment thing is only focusing on yourself, and this is a big one, and a lot of people, this is when they tend to get caught up in lose themselves because they hear what they want to hear what other people have to say focus on yourself do not listen to what anyone has to say if they want to give you constructive criticism great listen to those comments but if someone is telling you don't do it oh that's not going to work out that's not going to happen don't listen to them because you're going to feed into what they're saying and that's going to bring you down and 10 steps behind and you don't want that that's why another thing is also move in silence but not in too much silence but move in silence and just 
do everything in quiet in the in quiet in the back no one needs to know what you're doing 24 7 if you want to include them 100 percent but when you start to include people that's when people start to give their two senses in and you don't need their two senses when you know what you want to do and you're focusing on yourself so focus on yourself and don't let anyone try to get in your mind of what you want to do and what you want to say basically the next thing about commitment is create a schedule where you can set aside time and like do it for strictly your work so a lot of people see social media as not a job and just something for fun but also if you're trying to take it seriously and you want to build off of other things not only TikToks so like YouTube, Instagram, you want to work with brands you're gonna have to set so time aside to do these things and that also comes with time management everyone's always like I said how do you like stay co stay, so stay so consistent blah, blah 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 and mind you I stay consistent um I have another job I go to school so it's just about making a schedule and sticking to it and there's gonna be times where you can't go out because you have to film a video or you can't do this because you have to do this and you have to bring your camera all the time because you know there's content to film so just always stay consistent always build a schedule because if there's no schedule you're not gonna see it as something that's mandatory and you have to do so figure out a schedule figure out what works for you because you're gonna need that trust me when you have all these things you're gonna be like what the hell like when am I gonna film a video so just know like i have to film a video today and i know i have to i have to wake up i have to do this i have to you know so just make sure that you're making a schedule and you're staying consistent throughout everything and what you're doing so yeah that was part one of commitment the next part for part two is branding now i take this part very seriously guys so listen up i'm really trying to give you points on this whole branding thing because this thing really matters, I feel like. I feel like your brand and who you are is really what's gonna make your whole social media, basically. Like, that's what's gonna make you, and you have to listen to this part. So, yeah. So, so the most important thing about the whole branding is your name, I feel like. This is the most important thing I feel as though, because your brand is your name and who you are and what people look at and what people view you as, in a way, and what they attach your content to. So my brand or my name, I just consider myself as a brand. I'm a brand all by itself. It's Isis Eileen. So just be mindful when you're naming yourself. Like, don't make corny names. I was talking about this on TikTok Live yesterday. Like, I feel like if you want to take it seriously, it's time to let go of the they hate, they envy, da 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 oh, oh, most wanted, this and the third. That is so corny, guys. Like, um, that's just my opinion. Also, I just feel like that is just so corny. And when you, if you want to start working with brands, you think they want to see they hate they envy like mm -mm. like have something simple but also unique and like even just your first name or just anything like that like a lot of people just go by <clears throat> a lot of people just go by their first and last name Thank thankfully i have like a good first name that i go by i just go by isis Eileen. so i feel like that's a great name i use when it comes to all my social media networks and also keep the same name for all your social medias that is what helps people figure out who you are and they're able to again connect your brand with who you are everything is isa cycling so they're able to connect it oh i cycling i tiktok instagram snap that, that's all the same thing so make sure you just keep it the same basically another big thing i'm very big on this whole branding section carry yourself with respect and elegance and that goes for men and female carry yourself with respect because at the end of the day you do not know who is watching you i'm listen to me you do not know who is watching you and what you the last thing you want is to ruin opportunities because you want to act a fool because it gets you clout carry yourself with respect y'all when you post carry yourself don't be acting a fool doing illegal stuff da -da 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 -da. Cause that's another thing once you post something on the internet it's never coming off i'm very big on that i am so big on that because you have to realize those digital footprints do not lie like people really be you know it goes to everything colleges jobs like people be watching you and you have to carry yourself with respect because you don't know who's watching and like how you acted as a like a teenager and like an adult and just being stupid that's gonna be with you forever so just be mindful and always carry yourself with respect and elegance again that goes for everyone it doesn't matter what you're doing always 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 be mindful of what you're posting and that also goes with the whole branding stuff 
So the last thing for this section is always make your accounts represent who you are and then that's gonna allow a community to grow in that whole thing basically. So what I mean by that is when you have all your accounts or whatever, show your personality in a way and make it make it like no one's watching. That's the best way I can put it. Make it seem like you're just making this as a self diary. And when you do that, so much people are gonna feel safe and it's gonna find comfort in what you're posting. And that's how you're gonna grow a community because people like to watch YouTube videos or like to watch people on TikTok or whatever, where they can relate to. A lot of TikTok now is all relating in just seeing someone as a big sister or a little sister, whatever it is, stuff like that. So just make sure your whole account or everything, and if that's not your niche, that's not what you wanna do, Um, yeah, so if that's not what you want to do and you just want to be seen as something else, that's 100% fine. But I know for a lot of the girls that start YouTube or guys that want to start YouTube, just make it show, like, represent who you are as a person and not just, like, don't be a fraud, basically. Don't be a fraud because, again, this is your brand, you're in it, and you wouldn't want the last thing you do to not be who you are, basically. All right, you guys, so I was trying to move to the bed, but the lighting is too bright, so we're just going to stay here for the rest of this video. It's going to be, I guess, a sitting pajama top of icy. I don't know, y'all get what I'm saying, but the next step and the next part is gonna be TikTok. So I'm gonna be talking about TikTok, YouTube, and Instagram. And yeah, TikTok is where I have the most followers. I have 40.7K and we're growing, guys. We are growing. We are growing as we speak right now, which is good. Actually, let's check my TikTok. We have 40.7K 40, 40 and 3.7 million likes. That's my TikTok account, go follow it. Oh my God, this video, oh yes. We all right, so one of the first parts I'm going to be talking about in the whole TikTok section is it's very easy to go viral, but it's very hard to stay relevant. Relevant, And what I mean by that is you can go viral on TikTok. Anyone can literally go viral. It's so easy to go viral on TikTok nowadays. But if you want to see this as a job, you have to make sure that you're staying consistent, like I said before, and also you're making the right content so that you build more of a following. And it's not the type of follow who just follow because of that video, then they'll follow like, You have to make sure you're building an organic following and all that good stuff. So like the first video I made and I got, went viral, I had 400 followers and I got 1.2 or 3 million likes. No, no, 1.2, 3 million views in 2020 of summer, summer of 2020. And that got me from 400 followers to 12,000 followers in literally two days, y'all, two days. But I wasn't really staying consistent, but I was lucky enough that I kind of was because remember I always want to take it seriously, but I lost like a thousand followers. So I was down to 11K. And then I got viral again and I'm like, oh shoot, like I can really do this. Like I can really be consistent. So I had to be consistent and over time I grew my following. Like I have 40,000 followers, but these are real people and real organic followers. And what I mean by organic, it's not bots, it's not fake stuff. It's not fake robots just gonna follow spam thing, da da da. It's actual people that follow me, which is great because that's what you want. You should rather build slowly and build an organic following than build so fast and you want this, you want that, you want that. And they're not active and you're only getting 30 views but you have 50k like it has to match up your following has to match up your views and all that stuff like that so that's one of my main things always try to be relevant if you want that to be a thing like posting and what you're posting and all that stuff like that that was also my second tip i literally just merged that um together so yeah rather grow slowly create an organic following that have bots create fake and uh uh, an active page that's what i mean basically that you want to make sure that you're growing naturally so don't rush the process that's another thing the next thing is find what content works with your page and also try new things as well so like i'm what i mean by that is find what works with your followers and the content that like in that whole genre basically so on my tiktok account i realized that a lot of things that go viral on my page is what people relate to and that's what people that's what people share and that's what grows it if that makes sense like this video like it's like how do you get a wig install and can't maintain it and you just have to learn like so find what works with your content also learn your tiktok account i don't know if it's because i'm on my social media account so much of the day but i feel like anyone you have to learn your account and you have to like stalk your own account look at the comments look at the times this is just all the tips I'm just saying like all in one. Like literally, find what works for your page and once you find out what works, view your analytics. Look at your whole, your page and just see what works. That goes for every social media, but mainly TikTok because it's so easy to see and it's easy, you're on TikTok so much. You're, you're on TikTok so much that you're able to see it. So really watch, like 
go through your analytics, your creator tools, see what see what time people like are on your page the most, what your videos do well. Like I know for me personally, it kind of sucks, but it's okay. When I post like regular videos of me just lip syncing a song and just like me trying to feel cute, that doesn't work. That doesn't work, but I still sometimes post it because it's like, you know, I want to post a regular video nowadays, not always like content that people have to reshare, but like, like, I posted a TikTok last night at like 12 a.m. It has 150, 150,000 views. Did I say it? 150,000 views, I think that's what it's called. It has 150,000 views. Two days ago, I posted a hair video, 80K views. Another one, 80K, 500K views. Like, you just have to know what works with your page and just, don't think i can't post a food video like that's not gonna work out like that's not gonna work out on my page i could i could get lucky but that's not gonna work out on my page if i really try but also try new things like i'm trying to move in like my content creating lifestyle also into my tiktok account so that i can have both things like i'm with the best of both worlds but really just figure out what works with your page the next the last thing is they also relate to a lot of other categories but the next thing is do not be afraid to show your personality i struggle with this a lot that's why i started going live on tiktok because i feel like i'm able to show my personality on tiktok live but try to show your personality more that's what people like to see like you know those trending get ready with me da, da, da. those are trending a lot right now but i have a hard time doing that for some reason on tiktok i just i don't know i just it's so hard for me but don't be scared to show your personality you don't know what people are gonna enjoy and like viewing you so just show your personality more like even if you're not lip syncing like make funny videos that you want to make make all like everything you want to do try different things on your tiktok and just see what works for your page so yeah next category is instagram instagram is probably my favorite social media ever but it's also the hardest i feel like i feel like youtube is one definitely the hardest but instagram is also hard as well but I still love it, it's still my favorite. So the first thing is create a page that you that makes one of people wanna go back and follow you. That also goes with, again, every other social media platform, but I feel this with Instagram more. So just keep in mind, I remember I saw this TikTok and I always register it. If I was to see my own page or my For You page, would I wanna follow it and stay relevant? Like, would I wanna keep going back to it? Always think about that. When you watch your own videos and your whole social media when you look at your social media does this look like something you would follow if you saw it think about it think about it think about it think about it because me personally my instagram i'm like oh this girl posts all the time she's active her instagram pictures are nice she has so much instagram stories i, I can stay on her page all day make sure that people are thinking the same way and if not that way somewhere that they can relate to and want to go back to your thing so always make sure that that's the case when it comes to every social media especially instagram also, Instagram is also, I feel like Instagram is very hard to gain followers. It is so hard because people are Hollywood on Instagram. I feel like people are so Hollywood on Instagram, like they don't want to follow, they don't have too much followings that like they follow, but they want 10K, but only want to follow 300. Like it's very hard to gain following, but again, people are going to follow that they want to see more of you. And also they come from your biggest platform. My biggest platform is TikTok. A lot of people follow me from TikTok and they move to my Instagram and then my other social media. So also remember that it's very hard to gain followers but it's it's possible it's very possible the next thing is create reels if you want to do this for a content creator and you want to be a content creator you must be active and show yourself on all platforms make reels all your tiktoks all your get ready with me that you have on tiktok or anything post it on instagram like i don't post the videos that usually go viral on my instagram because that's not the type of videos i want on my page i want like my get ready with me and like my fashion and lifestyle videos on my instagram so i keep that on there but if you have your tiktok videos and that's what you want to merge post them on reels those can go viral those can literally go viral and now blow up your instagram like post everything post everything that you make post everything that you make on everything literally and film everything if you want to be a lifestyle creator film yourself brushing your teeth film yourself making breakfast like film everything and just make a 30 second video and put a cute sound and boom viral boom 2000 views it's so easy like it's so easy to just do something when it comes to just making content and you don't know how much people actually a lot of people enjoy those things so i'm telling y'all post and make reels like i was scared to post reels i'm like ugh, i don't want reels on my page i don't want reels people love them like i didn't realize how much people love reels so make some reels and post in your story yeah the next category is youtube and you're watching me right now on youtube so i feel like if you want to start a youtube channel this is perfect because look you're already on it you're already one step closer if you have a channel and you have a channel name you're one step closer to becoming a youtuber to be honest with you so yeah so the first thing is open yourself up to the fullest 
and I would mean this is like the safest space. In my opinion, I feel like YouTube is the safest space when it comes to any other social media and content creating because right now I'm in my room by myself and I'm just talking to a camera. So it's not like I'm with anyone. I can see all the comments and stuff like that. I'm just talking to a camera in the comments and all that stuff comes after. So I feel like this is the safest space where you can show your personality the most and you have to talk on YouTube. If you don't have a talking page, different, but YouTubers, we have to talk and we have to speak to each other and we have to communicate and talk to you guys. So I feel like show your personality the most because again, that's what makes people want to subscribe and see you again and want to see you the next week you post. So talk and show your personality. I hope you guys like my personality. I hope you guys like it. I'd be trying my best, you know? The next thing is be original and have something that will make people want to come back. Like I just said previously, I was talking about this on my Instagram, my TikTok live. I always be talking about stuff on my TikTok live, but be original have something that no one else does now a lot of people are starting youtube which is great but people are also being repetitive like i don't really watch youtubers like now i i really don't watch youtubers because it's it's just boring like it's just so boring it just it feels very repetitive so have something original and be and have something that people know you for like i'm gonna give y'all two examples one example I always say is Pretty Iceland. If you guys know Pretty Iceland, that's probably like one of the only YouTubers I really watch. Her and Emma Chamberlain. Like, so Pretty Iceland, in my mind, the way I was able to register in my head and always remember her and what I always thought she was iconic for was she was a girl in high school that always had the best outfits and the cutest clothes and always wore nice wigs. Tell me if I'm wrong, y'all, but that is how I always remembered Pretty Iceland. She dressed fire, she had the fiery shoes, she wore designer, like, and she was just going to high school, but it was good, like, her videos were so good, but that's how I was able to register and want to see more of her and her get ready with me, like, that was what she was known for, and that's why I feel like she got her community to rise. Another one, if you guys know, um, I think her name is Camry. I follow her on Instagram, I love her, we always, like, text or whatever, but I was able to register her in my head, because I'm like, this is a girl from California that has nice hair and always wear vans, like, that's how I register people in my head and that's why I make sure like I always go back and watch them because I want to see more of that. Sorry if the whole police things is so loud. I live in New York City so we're gonna get what we're gonna get. So sorry. But yeah so I just make sure I register people with something that they're known for and I feel like that's how a lot of people do because if you see someone and you're like I like this, I like this, I like this, you're gonna keep going back. So figure out and be original. Like I feel like what something that I'm original for is my pajama talk with Icy. I don't see a lot of people doing that. I haven't seen a lot of people doing this. I just thought like, oh my God, this is so cute because I like to wear silk pajamas. And I was like, we talking. Pajama talk with Icy and I'm gonna have different topics, stuff like that. So this is how you register me. Great, I love that. But people probably register me with other things like that, which is 100% fine. And yeah, so be original and have something that people know you by. So yeah. The next thing is, and the last thing is, do not be afraid to record. I'm gonna say it again. Do not be afraid to record. Like, this is what stops people from getting where they have to go because they're afraid of pulling the camera out and recording content. And it's okay to be like shy or whatever, it's 100% okay. But you have to understand, that camera, your phone or whatever, is what's gonna make you money. Those people giving you side eye, side eye, like, oh my God, like, what is she doing? Like, why is she recording? Why is she recording? Why is she recording? I'm recording because this is what's gonna get me money and people wanna see me record my daily life. So if you have a problem with it, turn your head, like turn your head. Exactly, like you cannot be afraid to record. People wanna see your daily life and if you're vlogging, you have to vlog outside. Just pull that camera up and start vlogging. I have issues when it comes to vlogging as well outside because I'd be scared, I'm like, oh my God. I'm, I mainly have fear that someone's gonna take my camera. That's my biggest fear. It's not that I'm scared of vlogging. I'm scared someone's gonna snatch my camera and I don't run so I will not run for my camera which is a problem but don't be afraid to record and you would you would you would be so surprised of how much people or how much of your friends love the camera as well all of my friends every time i pull out this damn camera everyone think they're a videographer and they love vlogging like it will make your videos 10 times better just vlog just pull out the camera just record like no one cares who cares like everyone is doing it nowadays no one cares if you're recording and you spend all this money on your camera record yourself don't be afraid to just record only in your house record outside record everywhere record everything people want to see everything do not be afraid also even if you're filming content on your phone like you want to record this record it if you want to do those short videos it takes two seconds to record one clip just record it so that's all one thing record 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 everything 
So the last part that I have for you guys is just little extra tips. I kind of already said them a little bit before, but I'm just going to say a little bit more extra tips for you guys because they kind of are general statements. So the first thing I would say is invest in yourself. Now, when I mean invest in yourself, me personally, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I would say try your best to get a camera. Now, again, if you want to take this seriously, you're going to want to invest at the end of the day. Like people are like you can start on a phone, you can start on a phone 100%. You can start on a phone, you can vlog, edit, da, 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 da. But me personally, I know a lot of people, the, the phone did not motivate them. Because one, everyone be having the no storage. I didn't have no storage. It was so annoying to have to delete so much videos to try to record. And I'd be like, screw the video. I'm just not going to post. Like, I don't even have time to remove stuff. Like, I don't have time. So that was one thing that un um, uh, unmotivated me. And also the camera quality. I have the iPhone 11, so it wasn't the best camera quality. And I just wanted to give, I wanted to make the best content possible. And if I knew it was possible, I wanted to get a camera and I wanted to have something that I can edit on so everything could just be 100% because when people go on my channel, I want them to see not perfectness, but I want them to see the best quality that they can receive from me, of course. So that's one thing I would say invest in yourself. And when you invest in yourself, this camera was expensive. Like, I'm talking about expensive. Yeah, so when you pay for something expensive, you don't want it to collect dust, you want to use it. So I bought my camera, I'm not looking to let this thing waste. I'm gonna make youtube videos out of it so when you invest in yourself you're gonna get motivated also a computer it doesn't matter what computer just invest and do it and you won't have to keep buying stuff over and over and over again because things are breaking or running out of storage you just invest in your set and you're good to go for so long so yeah the next thing is like i said before is be mindful of what you post on the internet again once you post it will never remove you may think that no one has a video or a picture people have it everyone has it once i'm telling you guys be mindful of what you post and figure out what you want to post beforehand. Think before you do. Don't post or don't do no stupidness for some clout or nothing like that because you will regret it in the future and later on or probably immediately after you post it. So yeah. Next thing is, and I want everyone to listen. I want everyone to listen. I love this quote and I live by this on a day-to-day -day basis because it is so true. If you always feel discouraged and people try to bring you down and say, da 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 da, -da this is so easy, this is so easy. If it was so easy, everyone would be doing it if it was so easy to become a content creator and put on all this work everyone would be doing it do not get discouraged because someone told you i said this is lame this is lame no it's not oh this is mad easy oh it's mad easy to become famous on tiktok it's mad easy to become a virus might become a content creator if it was so easy why aren't you doing it if it takes 10 seconds why aren't you doing it because it's not easy so never discourage yourself or feel discouraged when it comes to your brand and who you are that's what I would say. The next thing is also something I live by on a day-to-day -day basis. And this is why I feel like so much people are like, oh my God, your life is so da-da-da. One, I romanticize my life with everything I do. And also, everything is an accomplishment. Remember that. Everything is an accomplishment. You hit 100 more followers, that's an accomplishment. Post that. Post, oh my God, I hit a new 100 subscribers, a new 100 this. I hit 700, I hit 600. Everything is an accomplishment. I hit 40K. People are like, 40K is not even a lot. To you it's not a lot that's an accomplishment because that means 40,000 people decide to follow me and stick with me and become an icicle and that means the world to me and I feel like a lot of people like to minimize their accomplishments I 100% used to do that so much oh my god like my best friend be like Isis you need to give yourself credit when it's due like I didn't do that because I thought I was being cocky or I was just like showing off and stuff like that but you're not you're you're proud of what you're doing and everything that you do is an accomplishment always remember that like when i hit 50k um followers on tiktok best believe i'm doing something for that because that's half of 100k people that's a lot of people like 50,000 people and when i hit that i'm gonna be so happy but always think like don't compare yourself everything's an accomplishment and you just have to realize that everything is an accomplishment for everything you reach in social media and in life just in general everything's an accomplishment and the last tip that i have for you guys is three things or the four things three things speak into existence be patient and put in work speaking to existence i mean speak what you want your life to be like but speak it like you already have it i'm already famous i'm already a millionaire i'm already wealthy i already have a million followers i'm this i'm da -da -da. speak into existence because i'm telling y'all how easy it is to make your own life your words are so strong and the universe is working in your favor literally speak into existence my life came from just me talking. I don't talk bad about myself when it comes to work ethics or anything like that. I manifest my life and I speak into existence and God hears me and everyone hears me and they're gonna do what they have to do to make my life what I say it is. So boom. And what your thoughts are what you create. 
If you think you're gonna be a bum, hey man. If you think you're gonna be a bum and you think you're a bum, don't be surprised when you don't see any change. That's all I'm gonna say. If you if you say you're wealthy, you're wealthy. You're gonna expect wealth and you're gonna see wealth. So always remember that. And the next thing is be patient. This is the main thing a lot of people say, oh my God, I can't, like I'm getting lazy. Be patient, relax. These are humans we're talking about. People need to find you and follow you and once they do, oh, yeah. These are people and once they find you, it's gonna be so worth it. Put in that work and be patient. Be patient and just give it time. Patience and work hard. That's the next thing, put in work. Don't expect to get everything you want without trying. Yes, you're speaking to existence, but you also have to do half of the work. You have to work for it. Like, you're gonna have to email brands, email this, pitch ideas, do all this in there. You're gonna have to do that. You're gonna have to sit down and record for an hour straight, then sit down for two hours to edit a video. You have to put in work to see results and to see growth and to see your life formulate into the way it's gonna wanna be. So you cannot be lazy when it comes to this or it will not work. And you cannot be lazy when it comes to social media and content creating, just like any other job would be. This is actually a job, but it won't feel like a job when you're having fun. But you're gonna feel, it's gonna feel like a job when you have things to do, deadlines, but that's normal. This is the job that you chose and you wanna do. So yeah. So that was all the tips that I have for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope this inspired you and gave you some tips to start your content creating and your influencing journey. For me, I'm happy that I was able to formulate these tips in all these tips I lived by in these past three years to bring my pages and all my content to where it has to be today. And I hope you guys take on these tips. And if you want to do social media and start posting, this is your sign to start. This is your sign. Just pick up your camera, just pick up your phone and just record. Just put a song over it and just record and post it. It will never hurt to post and try, but also make sure you want this. Make sure you stay consistent and... I'm rooting for you in the background and in the front. Well, whoever, I don't know. I'm just rooting for you. Just know that Isis Eileen is rooting for you and all the icicles are rooting for you. And yeah. But yeah, guys, if you want to see more of me and see my video next week and every other other week, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you never post a new video. And if you want to connect with me outside of YouTube and become an icicle, make sure you follow all my social medias. They're Isis Eileen. And yeah, I'll see you in my next YouTube video. Bye, guys. Love you. Check it.